After two straight years of one and outs in the Class A state tournament, the Red Lake boys basketball team finally got over the hump last year, winning their first game and taking fourth overall. Now the Warriors are back, eyeing a four-peat at state. Three straight state tournaments has changed the culture within the Red Lake boys basketball program. But really uh, invigorating the basketball community and our fans and stuff, so it's been really good for us. And with that change program has come some high expectations, especially this season, as the Warriors chase their fourth straight Class A state berth. This year's team, we're just like last year's, just like the previous three, uh, the years after, uh, before that, we're looking to make, make a big uh, run, at, run at state again this year. To get back to state, they're going to have to rely on their defense, anchored by seniors Rob McLean and Robert Bolio, who stand 6'6 and 6'7 respectively. Well, you can't teach height. You know, if you got a couple of big kids, it's great. You know, I'm fortunate to have three of them this year. And, you know, it makes a big difference on the rebounding and a defensive and the defensive schemes you can do. And with threats all over the court on the offensive end, they feel they can match up with anybody because of their size and their ability to shoot from the outside. We can feed it, they can score, and when the defense crashes on play on defense on a big man, you can just kick it out and shoot. Having that height, having the uh, ability to rely on every, anybody on the court at any situation, it's a, big, it's a big difference maker. And with the roster teeming with experience, the Warriors are confident they can make it back to state, but no, it's going to be a tough road. I'm pretty um, positive that we could go back to state, but it's going to be a tough, tough play though. Teams are better, you know, and so we can't rely on what we've did in the past. We've got to, you know, work hard and practice and get better. And of course, the kids want to get back there. I would like to get back there too, but it takes a lot of hard work. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.